Hello there and welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a look at how you can use Kanban Python module. So basically it's a terminal based Kanban application. And in order to do that, what we will do is to pull up a terminal and navigate to my coding folder and create a virtual environment. Let's call it KB like short for Kanban, then activate it and pip install Kanban Python. Once the installation is complete, what we have to do is to basically init our Kanban board and uh, it will store uh, the board as a JSON file. So let's create a directory, maker kbpy, and in the kbpy folder, let's issue the Kanban in it. All right, as you can see, a new Kanban in the file was created, and uh, technically, we had to run it twice because first time it created the .kanban python folder in the home directory and what should the new board be called? I don't know. Let's call this demo. Do you want to set the board demo as active? Yeah. And how can I help you being productive today? Let's create a new task. Let's see. Create a YouTube video description this video is about Kanban Python and let's add the tag Python and it's doing all right so now you can see that we have an active task which is basically create a YouTube video what we can do is to update or check a specific task so let's update the first task o2 or first task first task task sorry and no 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 and let's put it ready so now you can see that oh sorry this task is the wrong one which was updated. Let's update the other one. Which does the update? Create a YouTube video and we want to put it to ready state. Now you can see that this was moved here. And we can also swap between Kanban boards. So we have technically one board and there is no way to swap it at the moment and we can also show current settings and delete a specific Kanban board. So let's see what we have in the settings. As you can see, this is basically the configuration file of the INI file. Okay. And uh, technically that's it. So if we take a look at the current folder in Explorer. You can see that there is nothing here because under the scene, users, current user, and Kanban Python is where the INI file is located. This is the settings that we just saw. And we also have different Kanban boards. And if we want I think we can check the Kanban app. So Kanban help. And we also have a new initialization possibility. So Kanban init. And what should the new board be called? Another demo. Yes, it's an active board. And now if we want, we can change between the Kanban boards. 
So that's technically it. And I hope you like this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you in the next one.